last to move there now. And what you guess is you get a little bit of... I must confess to being very routine in my thinking, but the Plantaflex first razor foot type that I recognise and I see quite regularly, callus sub 1 and 5 because of a, a four foot eversion, be it from a whole four foot valgus or a Plantaflex first ray as in this case. And of course the patients present with corn sub 1 and sub 5th metatarsophalangeal joints. So if we were to take a coronal section through the foot, we'd recognise the first ray somewhat dropped in the sagittal plane, a little bit lower than two, three, four and fifth metatarsal heads. So the idea of this surgery is to do a pizza pie wedge, cut of the bone, lift the head of the metatarsal up and try and get all those metatarsals on the same plane. One of my favourite procedures, and I do see some good results with this when it's done surgically and anatomically correctly. So I'm just going to try and demonstrate that on another patient with this nice, really nice blanket from Iceland that I don't get any pen on. This foot looks suspiciously like my mother-in-law's foot, who's also got a little bit of a plantar flex first ray. So if you can imagine this plantar flex first ray is just dropped down a little bit in my routine biomechanical thinking. Um, and getting a corn sub one and sometimes sub five. So the idea is if you've got your first ray here, the idea being that we take a bone cut and we lift the bone straight up a ways. So if you just do a, um, a sagittal cut and lift the bone up, it's not very stable. So the idea of the osteotomy is to come in at this angle here and take out this wedge and then the bone will come up Bone will come together, it will be nice and stable. Bone comes up and then we fix with the screw across. And if I just try and just move the camera, so you can see, okay, not a particularly plantar flex first ray, but if you imagine you have this first ray drop down a ways, what we're looking to do surgically is elevate that first metatarsal head up and it completely changes the mechanics of the foot. And what we normally find is when you get these really nasty corns, sub 1 and sub 5, they, they really do just, just disappear. And then guess what? No more podiatry required. How cool is that? Here's the setup then. Patient is prepped and draped ready for surgery. Medial incision and a short video coming up. Fairly grainy quality. I apologise for this. Probably, probably fine, Alex. But yeah, we run out of juice. I don't think there's a lot of juice on that battery. But never mind, we'll see what we get. <laughs> That's a bit underwhelming, isn't it? Here? Can we turn the bipolar up a bit, please, to on? So just to reiterate, we take a pizza pie shaped wedge out of the bone with the hinge directed plantarly and proximally. The head of the bone is tilted up and then we fix it across the osteotomy with a screw. Stable cut, stable fixation. We're getting the scrub assistant's best friend. Self self restraining retractors. So we're just coming into the joint at that level there. So there's the joint. Just come back a little bit. So Trying to do, Alex, is leave a little intact hinge there. There 
there's our osteotomy. Take that section out. And ideally that would be you know, kind of relatively parallel. You don't want kind of divergent streams as you're going across. So if I press up on that in, if you just give me that there, come a little bit, just give a little bit more vision. Yeah, oh, sorry. So that's not moving at all. So at the moment, osteotomy, very much like my career, it's going nowhere. So now we want to just feather the hinge. Yes, you get a little bit of bone pulp there. That's just kind of the bone pulp from that um, feathering that we're doing, uh, Alex. Mm. And I'm pushing up. So feathering is when we take that hinge and close it down, and then reciprocal planing if we need to, if we need to get those two edges of bones to sit smartly. That's when you push up and put the blade in on lower revs. So there's our Can you see the osteotomy there? So it's coming. And it's closed up. So I'm basically trying to gauge now where that first metatarsal has come up in a West Life style. And that actually feels quite nice. So it's a nice position. So nice and stable, we've got an intact planter hinge here. So we'll just do a little bit of force, get some of that juice out, get some of that um, sawdust out. You just hold the receiver and just it's going to fall on the, on the floor. Awesome, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. It's done from the side, so you can move around me. So I'm holding it, going to come in from there. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so I've got some attraction that we can some attraction there. So if you just watch that soft tissue for me, fella. So, there's the bone nice and flush. There's the osteotomy, nice and stable. I can just feel the screw through there, which I want to be able to through, because you want to be through from bone to bone. And it's just, just through. You're not going to be able to see it. I can feel it. You can see that's nice and closed down, nice and solid. And if you look underneath the bottom of the foot now, that's pretty much flat. We'll just bring that toe down a little bit with the dressing. And we're done. Flush and close. And that's it done. Prior to closure with a close-up, you can see where I've done a tilt-up osteotomy. And then we will flush and close. Patient is discharged the same day with a supply of analgesia, dressing applied. We'll see them back after two weeks. We'll remove the sutures. They'll be heel weight bearing. We'll do a check x-ray at four weeks to check for bone healing. Then review at six months, by which point we hope the corner's gone.